Okay guys, my name is Vito Paul and welcome to the very first series of Noob School. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to do a series of short videos that are based at the casual gamer or people that are new to Warzone, right? Um, so it's going to give you some hints and tips on stuff that you should do to improve, but this is not based on your 2KD, your 3KD players. This is entirely based on casuals, people that just want to slightly improve and get better at the game. If you're new at the game or you're just starting out in Warzone and want to see what it's all about, this is the video for you, okay? Um, myself, I have over 70 days playtime and over 271 so far, um, but I'm not a top tier player. Um, I'm a casual Facebook streamer um, and I enjoy playing the game. So here's some of the things that I think would be able to help you help improve your gameplay. Okay, so the very first thing we're going to talk about is the flight path and where to land, right? So straight off the rip, there's a few places that you want to avoid because they tend to be um, places that are busy and all the sweats go and that's where you don't want to start your game off. So don't go to hospital, don't go to train station, don't go to boneyard and don't go to the hangars around about airport kind of uh, factory area. Those are going to be places where it's high intensity fighting right from the offset. What you want to do is you want to go somewhere a wee bit quieter, a wee bit calmer, so you can loot up and try and get a loadout. Because your ultimate aim to start again is get enough money to get a loadout and get some decent guns. And of course your perks, okay? Okay, so I've told you where you shouldn't land, now I'm going to say where you should land, right? So some of the key areas that you want to drop that's a wee bit more quieter and a wee bit more calmer and give you time to loot up and get some guns and some ammo um, will be farmland or promenade east or west. Um, there is a few other places in the outskirts of the maps um, that you'll be able to get down and get some loot and it'll give you a wee head start and you'll not be into fights immediately. Now one of the things I will say is don't avoid fights at the start when you're new to the game. Don't hide too much. Um, get involved in fights because it's the only way you'll get better at the game is in engaging in fights and learning from those fights and what you've what you done well and what you didn't do so well. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is once you've landed somewhere is get a gun. Get a half decent gun and get familiar with the guns that are on the ground. Ground loot guns change every season, so get familiar with what guns kind of hit hard and what guns don't. Um, always remember that if you pick up a ground loot gun and it's got a suppressor on it, then you'll not show up in the mini map um, when you're firing your gun. So that's always a good one to get off the start. The other thing is loot and loot and loot. Go through as many houses as you can, open as many loot boxes as you can. So looting, yeah. Loot as much as you can. What you're looking for at the start of the game is 14k. You want enough for the loadout, which is 10 grand, and you want 4 grand for your UAV. That'll give you an indication of any teams that are around about you, and it'll give you an indication of whether you're going to push them, or whether you're going to pull away from them immediately until you're ready to fight. Okay, so we've talked lots about getting enough money for your loadout, but why is your loadout so important, and why do you need to get it when a free one comes in? So, after the first circle is closed around about that time, the first loadout will come in and it's free, right? So what you want to do is you want to get enough money to buy a loadout before that so that you can get your overkill class. Now your overkill class allows you to have two guns or two separate guns, okay? Whether it be an AR and an SMG, a sniper and an SMG, or whatever you choose, okay? Pick up your ghost class from your second loadout and then pick up your original gun from the first loadout. That way you've got both your guns from overkill, but you will have ghost so people won't be able to see you in the minimap in the UAV. Now, when you're setting your gun classes up, what you want to do is you want to name them. Now, naming them is not really important, it's entirely up to you whether you, want, whether you do that or not. But what is really important is the way that you set them up, okay? So, when you get your first class, your overkill class, I tend to set that at the very, very bottom of my list. So, is that when I'm at the loadout, I press up once and I grab my overkill loadout and that's me. Now, the reason that I do that is when I'm grabbing my second loadout, sometimes there's two or three loadouts landing together. And that could be dangerous, there could be other enemies watching it. So you want to be in quick, grab your loadout and away. So I tend to set up my ghost class. I also set my ghost class as a fully loaded at the very, very top. So when I go in, I press down again and it'll take me back up to the very top. And I grab my ghost class, pick up my gun and I'm out of there before anybody else is near. Okay, so now you've got your loadout, you've got your guns, you've got your UAV. It's time to go and engage in a fight. It is Warzone after all, so it's all about engaging in fights. So, what we're going to do is we're going to delve into some other things that can help you, um, especially when you're new to fighting, how to engage in fights. Now, some of the things that are really important is don't sit still and don't hide in corners because they will never make you a better player, okay? So, some of the things we're going to talk about in terms of engaging in fights is positioning, 
holding people in the gas, uh, not peaking the same spot, and movement. These are really, really important aspects in engaging in a fight. Okay, so first of all is positioning, getting yourself in the right spot. As you can see the video here, I'm trying to position myself so that the gas pushes out and everybody will need to squeeze out, and I've got a good angle to shoot them to finish them off. Okay, so positioning is really important. Always be aware of the mini map and see where things are so that you can position yourself best for the fight. Now at this point I'm peeking and I know there's people behind me so I'm trying to have a wee indication, I'm trying to listen to see whereabouts they're going to come out. Listen for the coughing, listen for the footsteps, all these things help you. As you can see, I heard the guy breaking the glass, he jumped out in front of me and it was an easy kill. Okay, so next we're going to talk about holding people in the gas, right? And in this example, I've got an advanced UAV out because I put three UAVs out. I know where people are. Now one of the strongest things you can do in the game is use the gas to force people out of buildings where you know they're going to come. So position yourself between you and the gas, knowing fine well that they're going to come out, and you'll get easy kills. It's the one of the most strongest things in the game is using the gas to force people out and hold them. Don't be eager and push towards them and try and get the kill. Just wait. Be patient. Let the gas force them out and force them towards you. Always try and position yourself between you and the player in the gas um, and you win lots and lots of fights using this tactic. Okay, so now we're going to talk about position and movement. On this occasion I'm fighting a team and it's 1v3. So I get the first down and I have a few shots into the second guy. So I don't immediately peek again. I wait as if I'm going away. Make him think I'm running away and then I get the finish in the first guy. So now it's 1v2. So again, constantly keep moving about. Don't peek the same areas and use every opportunity to play up. So I've plated up and I've reloaded my guns and I'm ready to go for the second fight. There's the second down and I decide to push at this point because I know it's 1v2 and one of the guys is already down so I want to go up and get the finish. I get the finish and again I'm using this as an opportunity to reload and get ready for the last guy. Last guy is an easy kill, team wipe. It's all about constantly, constantly moving. Okay, Positioning and movement is really, really important in the game. Okay guys, so that's the end of the very, very first ever episode or series of uh, Noob School. We're going to follow up with lots and lots of different videos, um, kind of highlight different things that will help you along the way. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please hit the like button. Um, does it cost you anything? If it's nice and free, subscribe if you want to come back and see the rest of the videos because we'll follow this up with a series of videos just continuing the theme of Noob School uh, and try to do lots of hints and tips that will help new players in the game and try and help them improve and get some more kills. Um, if there's anything that you would want to see and you want me to do some more videos on, uh, drop a comment in the box and let me know. Uh, we can do some more videos um, on some of the subjects that you want to see. Um, catch you next time. Cheers.